Yes, good evening, Amy. Well, here in Hebden Bridge tonight, right at the very centre of the town, it's still a hive of activity with the emergency services and construction and structural experts still here at the scene. If you come this way, I just want to show you uh, the building, the state of the building as it is now. This used to be on the ground floor an Italian restaurant. Well, you wouldn't want to be having a meal in there tonight, I can tell you. The whole building has been absolutely destroyed by the fire, which started at around about 2 o'clock this morning. Now, as you can see, the building is right next to some residential properties. They were in danger, so people had to be evacuated from those homes. It's still very much an ongoing incident, with the fire service expected to be here for quite some time. But I've been talking to people really affected, the business owners who've lost everything. It's hard to imagine what's inside, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe that it's not there anymore, that just suddenly it's just all gone. Friends Hannah and Julia can't believe the sight before them. The burnt-out yeah. mill building that, until 2 o'clock this morning, was home to their businesses, has taken everything they worked so hard for. I switched my phone on this morning, quarter to seven, and just had a barrage of texts with the thread that said, have you heard the terrible news? So. My heart was obviously in my mouth and I read a text from a friend who said what had happened and your studio's burnt and this was, yeah, it's devastating. People living close to the old mill in the very centre of Hebden Bridge filmed the flames leaping into the night sky. All this literally fell then. Fire crews from all over West Yorkshire were sent to tackle the blaze. There was concern for people living next to the building, which is surrounded by terraced properties. Some residents were taken to the town hall for safety and to escape the smoke. Now, this is Tim. Tim, you live next door to this, so you were right in the thick of it last night. Yes, we came out when we could smell smoke at about two in the morning. We could smell it coming in through our windows. So we came out to have a look around and then we could see the building filling up with smoke. So we called the emergency services and got ourselves out. There are about a dozen businesses based in the mill. It's thought the fire started in the Italian restaurant on the ground floor and quickly spread. Fortunately, no one was injured. Feeling incredibly grateful for the work that the Fire and Rescue Service did in, in making sure that there were no people harmed and that the local properties were actually safe, but devastated at the, at the loss for myself and other people's businesses today. We're so lucky in Hebden that the community is just amazing and they always support art and creative people anyway. So, you know, I've already had so many messages from customers and lovely people and, yeah, friends. So. I feel like, yeah, Hebden Bridge always rises again, whether it's floods or, or whatever it is. Work has <laughs> continued throughout the day to make the building safe. Fire crews remain at the scene tonight. While the smell of smoke still hangs in the air this evening, now we did say, of course, that nobody was injured, and that's great news, but at the time the emergency calls came in, the fire service had to treat it as though there were people inside that building. Fortunately, there weren't. Earlier, we spoke to West Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service and asked them just what had been happening today. At the moment, our fire investigator has been on scene, um, but has not been able to enter the, the premise due to the uh, structural damage. Once the structural engineering building control officers have cleared the building, our fire investigator will be back on scene to try and determine the cause, but at the moment, I have no information on that. Uh, we'll be here later on this afternoon and probably through the evening now to make sure that there's uh, no further flare-ups or hotspots. Uh, the structural engineers and the crew that are stabilising the building at the moment are going to be here for a number of days. Obviously, people have been displaced. It's uh, quite a traumatic event for those that have been involved. There's some business owners that have, have lost the contents of, and their livelihood, really. Um, but the locals have been really resilient. They've assisted where they can, uh, and that goes to the local authority as well. We've been working with those and the emergency planner to make sure everybody's safe and looked after. And if you don't know Hebden Bridge, well, it's a really tightly packed town centre, so something like this kicking off in the middle of the night is not great. Could have been a lot worse. Fortunately, the emergency services were here quickly, managed to bring it under control, and, well, the building has obviously been badly damaged, but no lives have been lost. That's the main thing. Yeah, it is. We've got to be thankful for that. Do you feel for those uh, business owners, though? Thank you, Ian.